My name is Jose Cuellar. I am a Professor Emeritus of Latino Studies at San Francisco State and lifelong musician, AKA Dr. Loco of the Rock and Jalapeno Band. And uh, I was fortunate enough uh, to be invited in 2012 to be part of the museum's effort to research and record these marvelous instruments. So I had the privilege of doing this as a Hurdy Fellow and had the opportunity to research and record almost 200 of these Mesoamerican instruments that has been part of the collection of the museum for a number of years. Professor Jose Cuellar is really one of the great anthropologists in the United States today. And I, I say that because uh, he's an anthropologist who not only is very effective in the classroom, uh, but he's very effective and dedicated to the community. Several years ago, uh, Professor Cuellar gave a musical presentation, which was at the Divinity School. Uh, Bill and Barbara Fash uh, came and heard him. And afterward, it was Barbara Fash who uh, developed the idea that it would be great to have someone of his expertise and knowledge and um, talent as a musician to come and serve as a Hurdy Fellow here at the Peabody Museum and be able to look at and evaluate and see if he could, in a sense, play um, this collection of ocarinas and whistles and flutes that we had here. My initial approach was more from the sacred and spiritual side than from the scientific side, both as a musician and as someone who respects the tradition, who comes from this tradition. Uh, although I'm in the North American as opposed to the Mesoamerican traditions, uh, we still approach these as, as sacred objects. Primarily, the primary objective was to breathe life and to play these instruments and uh, bring them to life. So that was my, my goal. So he had these uh, multiple approaches, the anthropologist, uh, the saxophonist, community organizer, uh, and also Native American music. And when he came here, he just took to this job. Um, you know, 24 seven, he was just very much uh, dedicated to uh, the, uh, the revival in a sense, the revival of these uh, ancient musical instruments. As a musician, any instrument that I, that I approach I just, first of all, just try to see what is the range? What are the limitations? What are the, what are the potentials? Where's the richness lie in terms of the sound? Or what's, what are the edges? And how were those used? Because both the parameters and then the core, musicians use all of those. Most of us feel this way, whether it's a Western instrument or any instrument, we develop that relationship. And you know, <laughs> my mama, my DNA is in here. These instruments that were played by others still have not only the DNA of others, but their spiritual vibration and physical vibration. I mean, I'm, I'm leaving this instrument now after having vibrated this. That becomes a relationship to each instrument. <laughs> 